Indeed, here we are in September. My name is Kim Dowling, and I'm here with... And I'm Mike Chaffee, and I'm ready for some football. It is football season. It is. But we are about to film the top things to do here in Sarasota, Manatee County for fall. So get your calendars out, because we're going to go through September, October, and November. We're getting into busy festival and fall season. We're here in one of our very favorite neighborhoods in Sarasota. And you guys know this is the place to be because we're going to bring you the top neighborhoods, the things to do, cost of living, everything you need to know to tie into Sarasota Manatee, the beautiful Florida lifestyle that we all love. So stay tuned because we're going to go into September. Get your calendars out. Alright guys, we're here at Fruitville Grove, hands down one of my favorite places to come during the fall, and that is for the Pumpkin Fest. It's absolutely free and it's open every Saturday and Sunday through October. Petting zoos, crafts, costume contests, come pick your pumpkin. There's going to be a whole barn full of pumpkins. It's so much fun. Charlotte and Megan and I, we absolutely love it. It's a must do every year for us here in Sarasota, Florida. And don't forget, throughout the whole festival, the Grove store is open. Fresh produce, the best orange juice you'll ever have, Big Olaf ice cream. You gotta stop in here before you grab your pumpkins and load them into the car. It's a must do. Alright, who can guess where we are now? Can everybody see the lake? We're at Nathan Benderson Park. And there are some really fun activities for the fall in October here at Nathan Benderson. We're out here this morning with all of the runners and bikers. Rowers hit the, the water usually later in the day and, on, and during the weekend. So exciting. So exciting. And I'm really excited for the Lantern Festival. We were just talking about it on the way over here. It's October 5th. The Nathan Benderson Lantern Festival. Food trucks, fun, music family activity and then what is the lantern festival so you come out you design your own lantern and then at seven o'clock i think you design the lanterns at 4 30 and then at seven o'clock they launch them out into the beautiful 400 acre pond here at nathan benderson park and i'm so excited to bring the charlotte oh no, absolutely put their own lantern absolutely. and then they can see where it goes we're coming and remember with with each activity remember to take a look at the um description because we're going to put all of the links to each activity and then here at Nathan Benderson Park for those of you that haven't been here we're right here at University Town Center centrally located between Sarasota, Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch. It's a beautiful area and it's easy to commute to any of our kind of triangular cities and, and our double Sarasota Manatee counties and if you want to zip right up to Lakewood Ranch at the end of October Everybody's going to be ready with their Halloween costumes. You can put the costumes on those kids. And there is the Boo Run in Lakewood Ranch. You yeah. want to get the kids dressed up and go running? That's a lot of fun. Again, not not really too serious, but they yeah. have categories. If you are the, you know, the serious runner, they have costume contests that you can run in your costumes. I mean, you, you name it. They Lakewood, want you in costumes. Lakewood so. Ranch really nails it with awesome events. And between Nathan Benderson Park and the Country Club yeah. and the Running Club, it, it's really spectacular for all ages. Last year at the Boo Run, it was so cute. They had just whole families and groups of costume. One of my favorites was the Incredibles. The mom, yeah. the dad, and two kids all dressed up. And, so. of course, the Paw Patrollers. Oh, it's the so Paw fun. Patrollers. All right, so that's just a good little clip of a few big October activities. We've got another one coming up for you next, so stay tuned. Another spectacular event happening this fall is the Suncoast Food and Wine Festival, showcasing beers, wines, and food from all of our local favorite restaurants. But the most important thing I want you to understand about the Suncoast Food and Wine Festival is that all the proceeds benefit local charities. From animals to children to grown-ups, they benefit all local organizations and is one of my favorite things to do. Alright, come one, come all. Does everyone recognize where we are? We're at Sarasota Robarts Arena, right here on Fruitville, and guess what's coming in November? The Medieval Fest, one of our favorites. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you have not been, it's definitely an experience you should experience at least once in your life. And for 
for me, the jousting and the human combat chess <laughs> is worth the admission for me. I am so excited. I will be here for day one for that. Human combat chess. So, Sarasota Medieval Festival, it starts in November. You've got the month to kind of tie in. As Mike mentioned, you can buy a season pass and come in and out anytime. You've got the food, all of the fun and games, family. If you want to get dressed up, they have a costume contest. So, one of the best things to do for fall, put it on your November calendar. And remember, we've got a link to all of the festivals and all of the events down below. So, you just click right to it and make your plans for November. All right, off to our next Talk surprise visit. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome to November, everyone. So, this is the tail end of our video. September, October, November, and November has two of our biggest. We're here at Siesta Key Beach, and many of you may know Siesta as the number one beach in the nation. That's what we like to say here in Sarasota, That's Florida. Right. So let's talk about the first event. First event. The Siesta Key Sandcastle Competition. It's one of the biggest kind of fall activities that we have. All of the master sandcastle builders, and we are not talking about no. buckets and water not dollar and tree sand. Buckets and making we're, castles. No, we're talking about master sandcastles that are taller than Mike and I. Here they come out, they have 48 hours to build their competition piece, and then you can come through all of the activities that they have, take a look at all of the competition pieces, all of the sandcastles. It is I mean, we love it's special. it. It's special. And, it, it, you know, you go to the beach and you play with the sand, especially if you have kids and you build the castles. I mean, this is works of art that these people are making. They're spraying down with the yeah. water. They're using the crystal sand. They're doing everything to absolutely make these things just absolutely works of art. And it really, really is special. Yeah. The kids love it. And then the best part about it is you come, you check everything out, and then you spend a day at the beach. I mean, it's a win-win. The, the kids, the, when you bring your family, their eyes are just going to light up. They just are so enthralled so it's one of the very best activities for families and what's interesting is it's so much work behind the scenes it is run completely by volunteers and it's you've got to pay for a ticket but your ticket it helps cover kind of all the cost of the competition all the volunteers come in and run it and then it's just bring your family food music fun and then a great free event for November is one of Mike's favorites yeah, yeah and that is the chalk the chalk festival um, it used to be held downtown Sarasota. They have moved this year to the Venice Airport Fairgrounds. Very important where I just default mode that it's downtown Sarasota. Okay. But I think they have a lot more room, a lot more area to showcase. And, you know, same with the sandcastles. You, you don't, you know, you draw chalk on your sidewalk. You draw chalk, you know, playing around, you know, and just messing around. But it's 3D immersion and just absolute murals and artwork and art. And, and they literally just, just pop off of the street, yeah. 3D. So it's fantastic. And yeah. that's important, remember, because we're so used to it being Main Street, Sarasota. Put it on your calendar. Venice Airport Fairgrounds Chalk Festival free event. You can go walk around. They're both on the same weekend. Yeah, November Starting on November 15th. So mark your calendars for both of those. And fall things to do, yeah. top things to do. September, October, November. We hope you guys love this video and you've got some great things for your calendar. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. This is the place to be. We love doing videos for you. We're just real people here in Sarasota, Manatee County. We love you. We love our clients. We love our community. We just happen to sell real estate along the way. Yeah. So if you need anything, if you have any questions, just give us a call, send us an email. We're here to help. Yeah, our, our phones are always by our side, and we'd love to be your realtors for life. And we think you'll fall in love with our YouTube page and all of our videos. So give us a like, give us a subscribe. You can see all the content that we upload. And we got a lot more yep. stuff before the end of this year. Follow us on Facebook. It's going to be fun. So we're tuning out here, but we've got a lot more to come. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching.